Liam with, with PSG and there are there are many of them and the, the quality that they have in their team we're going to look at Cavani who you've already said and he, he's on this guy's on a, on a goal scoring run massive run yeah goal. early on in the season and this was against Arsenal I was at this match in Paris he missed so many chances and people were doubting could he take the place of Ibrahimovic because uh, he was the main goal scorer last year and, and uh, Cavani was playing out wide so they pushed him in the middle and it t took him a bit of time, you know, doing this sort of thing. That's not a prolific goal scorer, that's not a clinical finisher. But he makes great runs. Mm. Did he pointed one out in the first leg? He makes great runs in behind people. And I think Umtiti and uh, PK uh, are not quick enough to handle. He's fast, he's powerful. And he's not doing this anymore. He's finishing now. And he's finishing like this. This was uh, what he's capable of. Great near post header. Puts it away the far far side of the goal. That's that run I'm talking about. They're in behind people. PK can't live with him. And I, I'll be surprised if he doesn't score tonight. And, and he added goals, as Liam said. He added goals. He, he missed so many chances. That's the reason they didn't win the group uh, in the end and faced Barcelona mm -hmm. instead of, of another team. And... Uh, this is a nightmare for a defender. Um, a, a physical guy, six foot two, six foot three, strong, quick, runs the channels, workhorse, um, and nobody wants to play against him and because he won't give you a minute or a second piece tonight. And this is exactly the type of player you don't want to play against. And if he adds goals to his game, which he has done now, I think he's right up to the top. If you look at the world top class strikers at the moment, I think if you go to the top five, I think he certainly finds his place there. Yeah, 34 goals in 33 games this season. Kickoff.